The Spinner Snap tool in 3D Studio Max is a great way to help save about a thousand clicks for every scene. I'm going to show you real quick how to use that. You can toggle this Spinner Snap by clicking this button here. Right click on it. It will bring up your preference menu and right here there's a little spinner section that shows you a precision and a snap amount. Now it defaults to 1. I'm going to put it at 0.125 just to show you this and you can turn it on by ticking this box or by clicking this button. You'll note some of these other buttons up here have hotkeys assigned to them like snaps you can hit S and angle snaps you can hit A. Unfortunately the spinner snap toggle does not have a hotkey by default. But let's just see what it does real quick. So I'm going to create a box and just for anyone who doesn't know a spinner in 3D Studio Mac is this little interface here where you can click up to increase a value. You can click it down to decrease it you can hold and drag or you can right click and zero it out so let's create a box and you can see that it's 56 and some change let's make it easy 64 every dimension now by default if you click this up it's kind of random same goes for every dimension if you have your spinner snaps enabled you can click up and now it goes by whatever increment you set which in this case is one eighth of a unit so if you drag it no longer increments but then you can go back to clicking and it will indeed start incrementing again and that's all there is to the spinner snap tool it is a simple yet fundamental aspect of 3d studio max's general user interface that often goes overlooked